This is News Now. Here's your host, Brett Barr. In local news, the Mathematics and Science Center, for 40 years a regional institution that offers math and science classes to students and teachers, is changing its name to the Math Science Innovation Center. Lemony Patella is live at the center. Lemony? Yes, Brett. Behind me is the oldest regional partnership in the Richmond area. A consortium of eight capital region school districts fund what used to be known as the Mathematics and Science Center. Its faculty conduct classes both at the center and in area schools. Because math and science are two subjects whose contents many say change more than any other school subjects, the center strives to include emerging topics and new teaching methods. That's their new goal here at the Math Science Initiation Center. Uh, Lemony, that's innovation. Yes, Brett, it is. We had a chance to chat with the director of the center, Dr. Julia Cothran, who explains that their new mission statement, constructed with the help of the school district superintendents, school board members, and community leaders who sit on the center's board, emphasizes the idea that the center is like a laboratory, trying new ideas in teaching. The center is led and will continue to lead the implementation of cutting-edge math, science, and technology programs for K-12 students and teachers. Because you have the latest gadgets? We do use the latest instruments and the latest tools, but good teaching is more than gadgetry. We're like a laboratory. We investigate new areas of math and science, we try out new technologies, and we blend them together to make innovative programs for students. So classes here are not like what someone would see at a typical school. Here, see for yourself. In this room, we've taken one new area of research, fractal geometry, and blended it into and lessons using music exact and dance, right? right? Biology <laughs> and chemistry. The center creates lessons for all levels, such as life science for middle schoolers and professional development for in-service teachers. These physics and engineering teachers are learning to apply new scientific principles to real-world examples. All in all, Brett, lots of new changes here at the Math Science Invigoration Center. Uh, no, Lemony, you mean innovation. A paradigm shift embraces cutting-edge discoveries, tools, and technologies. Well. Brett, the center certainly maximizes the use of new educational technology tools. One lesson presents clues from a TV show on DVD for students to solve, like the TV show CSI. One uses GPS receivers to plot points on Google Maps. And in-class student responders display and record student progress. In a variety of subjects, tablet PCs function as smart boards when projected. Students program a graphing calculator that operates a robotic car and investigate electronic circuitry, as well as standard web-based lessons. Here are students manipulating a blood protein molecule to determine where a cancerous cell is based on its DNA. This is all pretty cool stuff, Brett, here at the Math Science Investigation Center. Innovation. 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 But you know, Brett, it's not just that the center is finding new ways to use tools kids already have in schools. Right, Lemony. Kids live in a technologically rich environment, even at home. That's just it, Brett. The center is finding ways to teach using the very devices that students and teachers already own. Like iPods, digital cameras, PlayStation games, virtual environments, Legos, Game Boys. The center is even offering content on cell phones. Well, so, Lemony, they're using new technologies and information delivery systems to teach students innovatively? Brett, it's not just for kids, but there are professional development opportunities as well. The Math Science Inoculation Center also leads area teachers in discovering new areas of research that students will soon need to know. Like how magnetic levitation offers a friction-free new medium for mass transit or how nanotechnology can make paint magnetic or give metal wire a memory, or how researchers are taking lessons from nature and applying it to new manufacturing methodologies, like adhesives from aquatic life, fiber strength from spiders, or insulation and construction techniques from wildlife. Well, Lemony, what do the staff there think of the center's new mission? 
The Math Science Imagination Center staff is excited by this new push to teach innovatively. Innovation. That's what I said. I, I was using it as an adverb. We're really excited about virtual environments because this offers us an opportunity to create interactive environments that are free from the constraints of real life size and time and space. It's not just about the devices, but certainly having newer devices allows our teachers to experiment with iPods, with cell phones, with new Lego kits. That becomes a test bed to experiment, to study, to find best practices, but it's the practice of good teaching and learning that allows the Mass Science Innovation Center to lead. However we imagine the future, or the future job market, we know that math, science, and technology will be integral strands of knowledge. Lots of evidence that the center is meeting the needs of both students and teachers. Their goal is to implement innovative programs in emerging sciences and technologies and to generate the enthusiasm needed to be effective 21st century users, producers, and innovators. Innovators. You know, Brett, the I in this new logo might very well stand for innovation. This is Lemony Patella reporting live from the Math Science Innovation Center. Brett? And thank you, Liberty. And thank you for watching. That's our show. See you next time.